Hi everyone, I'm Valeria from the Data School Cohort 21 and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a visual hierarchy to your parameter dropdown. Here's what I mean by a visual hierarchy. Let's assume that in general we only care about our performance on a regional level and we are not too worried about the performance of each individual state in this high level dashboard that we're building. But maybe uh, we've just launched our operations in these two new states uh, in the South region and our stakeholders would like to track their numbers a little bit more closely for a few months. This type of drop down could also be useful if we have a new product in the range or a new account manager on the team. Or maybe we just uh, want to combine our area and location options into a single drop down because we already have too many filters on the dashboard and it becomes a bit overwhelming for the user. So how do I go about building this? Here's my simple monthly sales chart. What I need to do first is create a new parameter. I'm going to call it region slash state parameter. And I'm going to make it a string. And I will specify a list of options that I want this parameter to display. To save myself some typing, I can actually pre-fill this list with the values from the uh, from the region field. But I also want this parameter to show the all option. So I'll just type it at the bottom and then right click and drag it to the top of the list. I can also set my current value to all to be the, the default when I test it. What I want to do next is add my two new states to the South region. I think it was Georgia and Louisiana. And I can again right click and drag them under the South region. I'm not going to make any changes to the value side, but I do want to add some indentation here uh, on the display as side. If I simply try to add a couple of spaces in front of my state names, that indentation will disappear the moment I click off that value. So what I need to do is find a different space character that won't disappear. The easiest way to do it is just to go and Google and type in something like white space character. I've used this first link before, but I'm sure there's plenty of other resources. On this page, you'll see that there are various different white space characters you can copy, uh, but not all of them will actually work for what we want to achieve. And some of them will disappear the same way my regular space did. But by some trial and error, I found that this, um, this braille blank works fine. So I'm just going to click on it and copy it into my parameter list in front of my state names. I think I'm actually going to do two or three and I'll do the same with Louisiana. I'll click OK and I will show this parameter. And I can see that it looks how I wanted it to. So my next step is to create a calculation that will define what this parameter is actually doing. I'll call this calculation filter region slash state and I'll say case region slash state parameter when all then true because I want all values to show when the parameter is set to all. When Georgia then state equals to region state parameter and same with Louisiana. 
then state equals region state parameter else region equals region state parameter end I'll click OK and I will drop this filter calculation onto my filter shelf and select the true option. And that's it. I can click through different regions or states in my options and my chart will update based on those selections. Obviously, there are several caveats you need to keep in mind when using these type of parameters. First of all, since it's a parameter and not a filter, I cannot select more than one option. So I couldn't, for example, select both central and east region at the same time. And the second inconvenience is that this parameter is not dynamic. So before implementing this in your workbooks, you'd need to think about how often the required dropdown options might be likely to change and whether your team has the capacity to update it as often as needed. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, check out our other tutorials on how you can use parameters in your Tableau dashboards.